Hi there, it's Martha and Happy New Year. I'm actually filming this on New Year's Day. Uh, so hopefully um, I don't have a lot of brain fart, <laughs> brain farts uh, as I'm doing this video because I did not get a whole lot of sleep. I did stay up uh, a couple hours after the new year um, and didn't get a whole lot of sleep. But I wanted to put this up because it is the, um, is something that I wanted to do is to create a melting basket. I have not done that before. Typically what I've done is um, I just, melt whatever we're you know whatever I find and I'm in the mood for um and as I want to change over wax I just melt things and uh in December I was really into Christmassy scents and Christmas tree scents but there's been a lot of hauls that I've had where I've gotten great smelling bars that I said I can't wait to warm this and you know two months later now I still haven't warmed it so I thought having a melting basket like still gives me the ability to you know melt what I'm in the mood for, but it limits it to this, this here. And I'd say 90% of this is things I have not warmed yet. Uh, there are a few, there are a few things in here that are like half warmed, right? So I have like four cubes left and, and then I can be done with it. Um, and then I have what I haven't warmed yet from bring back my bar. So I think I'm down to only a couple, really only a couple. So there's a couple things here. I haven't worn the Valentine's Day collection, so that's right on top as well. But yeah, this is just stuff I wanna get get to warm or finish up. And so that'll, uh, this will be a good way, I think, for me to get through it because it gives me a very con confined, uh, where everything is, right? Everything is here. I don't need to go looking through. I have, place, I have a couple places where I have um, since the, I have a drawer in the kitchen where it's like all bakery scents and then I have another basket that's like all wintry Christmas scents and then I have a lot of vendor wax um, that I haven't put away so I kind of have things all over the place and so some of this is out of sight out of mind and some of it is I just you know was prioritizing other bars over these but this is what I'm going to do this month. And then we'll see how I do at the end of the month um, in my empties. And what is not in here um, and not in any video I've posted yet is vendor wax. I will be adding in vendor wax this month. Um, and I just posted the January um, wax melting challenge. And that is in a in a different basket just like this but it's in a different basket and it's in the room that I'm going to be warming all of those scents so so that way it's organized I guess is what I'm trying to say I'm getting organized um and so today being January 1st as I'm filming this is um the prompt for that day was like a cleaning a, a clean a clean smell um, and I had picked Pima cotton, so I have that going on in the guest room right now, and that is a strong bar. It is strong, and um, but I like it. I like laundry scents. I'm weird, um, but uh, yeah, that's a strong one, and I'm glad that I'm warming it in that same room because I warmed pear, blossom, and cucumber in that room, um, and I could and I and many of the things that I've warmed in that room have been very light. Um, so knowing that I can have a really strong bar in that same warmer, same environment, same everything, right? Not changing anything and seeing the difference um, makes me know that it's not the environment, it's the, the actual bar. <laughs> um, so they're, they're, um, it helps me compare strength. Uh, so anyway, I'm rambling, let's get started. Okay, so what I did take out of here um, is the items that are in the January um, wax melt video, and I will post it here and probably at the end, just in case you missed that one, um, just so it wouldn't be repetitive. So I did have some Scentsy bars in that video, um, and I just kind of pulled them out there on the bed over here, uh, just, just so I wouldn't be repeating myself, you know, like two videos in a row. So let's get started. First one I have here is, uh, well, let's do the Valentine's one. So I have Starburst Sky. So Starburst Sky has pink sugar and like, um, not pink sugar, pink blossoms and amber. Um, I think it was apple in here as well. And this just smells really, really good. I, at the my first sniff video, if you haven't seen that, I will post that up here as well somewhere. Um, if you didn't see that one when I first smelled it, it, my favorite, still my favorite of the Valentine's ones. I have not warmed it yet, so I can't tell you what it's like on warm, but 
I can't believe I missed that this smells like Baccarat Rouge and I was watching a few other videos and they mentioned it and I was like hello I mean I have it up here not the not the real Baccarat Rouge 540 because that is like oh it's like over $300 for half an ounce, I think, um, something like that for that perfume. But I have some dupes and I love that one. And so I'm like, I can't believe I missed that, but I'm getting that vibe for sure. It's, it's, there's some notes in here that are very, that match up with that perfume. Um, not saying it's exact, I'm sure, but if you know, you'll, if you're familiar with that scent, I'm sure you will smell it. Um, and I know there's other, there's a lot of dupes for that perfume. Uh, Ariana Grande's Cloud, which is another popular perfume, is a dupe of that. I think there's a dupe at like Bath and Body Works. I forget the name of it. But anyway, it's a very popular fragrance in the fragrance world. Um, and many, many companies have tried to dupe or do inspired by um, scents like that. And I think this is inspired by. So this is Starburst Sky. Um, and that is a great one. I can't wait to warm. Then we have Pink what was this one? Pink Sunshine. Pink Sunshine. And this is also from the Valentine's Day collection. This was the lightest of the three. Um, and this is fruitier. I'm getting a little bit more fruity than floral right now on this one. And uh, yeah, looking forward to warming that so I can give you a review. And then we have last but not last but not least from the Valentine's collection, Clementine Blossom. And these are all available now. Um, yeah, starting in January 1st. And this one gives me a creamsicle vibe. I definitely get the orange and the creaminess. So I like that one. That was like my second uh, favorite, Starburst Sky being my first. So we'll see how they warm. Then uh, from Bring Back My Bar, I have Melon, Apple, and Granita. And yeah, looking forward to warming this one. This is one that I really liked when I first, uh, first sniffed it and still do. It's very much a summer scent, so we'll see how that does since we're in winter. Um, cucumber Lime is the other one I have left to warm. This also had a perfumey vibe to me. I don't get just cucumber and lime. I get, I get something, I get those. It's a nice cucumber, but I'm getting something more than just cucumber and lime in a good way, like in a perfumey way. I, I don't know that anyone else has mentioned that, but, um, what my, that's what my nose is picking up. Then we have, I think I have just these two from, nope, three, three more of the Bring Back My Bars and then I will be done. Um, so I'm so close to melting all of them. This is coconut um, vanilla, or coconut cream pie, coconut cream pie. And uh, yeah, this one, I get a lot of pumpkin. I get a lot of pumpkin in it and maybe a, a touch of coconut. So we'll see how that is. Um, Autumn Stroll is another one. I like the smell of this one a lot. So I'm kind of not saving it for last, but I think I'll, I'll get to this tomorrow. And I'm trying to decide if I want it in my bedroom or the open concept. But this, um, there's some wood incense in here that I like. Ah, that is good to my nose everything's to my nose. Uh, Autumn Blaze Maple and this one I should warm by tomorrow as well. This just reminds me of, I mean there's maple, those kind of spiced autumn notes, but I don't find it, I mean I guess I just don't find it much different than what we have in the catalog now. Not like to a specific bar, but those that maple and the spiced notes just seem familiar. Okay, then we have Winterberry Apple Tea. And Winterberry Apple Tea is one I hauled, I think in November, early November, and uh, I loved it when I first sniffed it. And I just haven't gotten around to warming it. And I think that's okay, because this to me, I think will be a great January bar to melt. You know, it's not Christmassy or anything like that, but it's, it's just, it's a good smell. I'm getting more plum or grape. I forget what's in here. Um, I will do my best to leave the notes here. That takes a while sometimes, so I don't always do it, but I will try. Um, Luna. Can you believe I've not warmed Luna? I cannot believe I've, 
I have not warmed Luna. Um, it's just so pretty. I know it's got uh, sweet pea and freesia and uh, what else is in here? This one I do have the jasmine, sandalwood, and some berries. This I want to warm in my room. And I think as soon as I'm done with um, all the bring back my bars, this is going in. Oh, such a pretty, pretty scent. So that's Luna. Then I have frosted vanilla. And this I have warmed before, warmed before, but I am putting it in here because I have four cubes left and um, it's a very wintry scent. I just did a video called Battle of the Bars, which are kind of the wintry fresh scent because there are a lot of them. Um, so if you're interested, I will put that in the description box or up here. Sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, and so, yeah, that is a vanilla scent with um, a lot of birch bark. I get a lot of that. Here's one I've never warmed before, and it's been on my list since I got it in the very, very early uh, November. And actually, I did. This is one I just mentioned in the wax melt challenge. I forgot to take it out, but uh, it's uh, Clementine Cupcake. So that's been on my list. Okay, toasted acorn and oak. This is such a pretty bakery, caramelly <laughs> kind of scent, which doesn't go with the name, but I pick up that beautiful chestnut and a bakery note in here. So I can't wait to warm this. This smells sweet. It's sweet. Toasted acorn and oak, right? I would never have thought that this would smell the way that it does, but it's roasted golden oak. I think it's giving it that uh, bakery vibe. Maple rum cake. I have warmed this many times. This is part of the Harvest Trio, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. So I'm not sure if this is available anymore. Um, I just have four cubes left. Um, okay on cold, fabulous on warm. I currently have it in my club, but I don't know how long it'll stay there. I may take it out. Um, even though I love the scent, and even though I have the luxury of really having a clean clean slate when it comes to club, my club, um, because I just started. So I don't have the history of, you know, years or seasons and seasons of bars that I just, you know, uh, are struggling to edit uh, or curate as if I were to curate a, a, an existing club. But I, so I like this, definitely like this. I've warmed it several times. My nitpickiness here is because I know that my club will grow, especially after bring back my bar. I know I will be putting a lot in there. And um, maple scents are, I don't know. They, I just feel like if, I feel like one, this would probably come back. Uh, I feel like a lot of people have enjoyed this. Um, two, it's great, but I think there's just a lot of maple scents. And it's not my like favorite note. Um, I don't hate it, but it's not like a note like um, like a vanilla or just other notes that I really gravitate more to. It's a long-winded answer <laughs> to to a question you didn't ask. All right, tinsel berry. Uh, tinsel berry is have is one I have not warmed at all, and this is um, this has strawberry in it. I do remember that. And maybe that's why it feels odd. It smells good. It's blending nicely, but it's just, it was, it's unexpected to have like a strawberry note in here. So I wanted to warm this in December, did not get around to it, as you can see. Um, so definitely we'll be warming that in January. And by warming, I don't mean that these will all be empty. They could be partially empty, especially especially if it's a brand new bar uh, like this. So this is Mandalorian Air of Adventure. And this has silver mint and uh, what else is in here? Grapefruit, bergamot. No, not grapefruit. Sorry. Geranium, eucalyptus, orange. It's the orange zest, not the grapefruit. I really enjoy the smell on, on cold. And I've been wanting to warm it for a long time and just haven't gotten around to it. I will say, the longer these bars sit, the nicer they smell, even though I liked them a lot when I got this um, a little over a month ago. 
I've warmed Olaf, but he's in my basket because he's Olaf and it's winter and, you know, it's a great scent. Light, light though. So if you're looking for a strong performance, this is not it. But if you're happy to have a light scent in the in your bathroom or bedroom, this is a great smell. This is a nice, great, it's got a little bit of mint. It's got some vanilla. It's got some woodsy notes it says in there. I don't really pick up a lot of woodsy. To me, it's just a really pretty vanilla mint scent. Then we have um, Light Side of the Force, or is it called Force Light Side? I'm not sure, um, but it's a beautiful blue. I am, my favorite color is blue. And this is one that I got also, I think in November. And this has got Orange Groves, Morning Mist, and Driftwood. It's body care, leaning manly, masculine body care, like something you, something a company would, like a, a man's body care company would put in a, like a scent of their shower gel or soap, but I like it. <laughs> um, and the reason I have not worn this yet was one, like I said, I was more into Christmassy notes and things like that. And I don't think this is season specific. This could be all year round, but this month in my club, I threw in um, the dark side and I read that if you melt the dark side, if you mix dark side and light side, you get a purple color and a new fragrance. So I'm, I'm, wait, I'm gonna wait for the dark side so I can mix them and I'll also use some on its own. Then from the Frozen 2 collection, and this came out in December. This is Fearless fearless by Nature. This has really wildflowers and sage, and I like this one a lot. Also, there's a freshness to it, which to me I think would make this nice for the bathroom, like a bathroom scent or even bedroom, but I do enjoy that one. Oh, here we go. Pineapple Rose. So this is the scent of the month for January for this month. And um, I have melted two, but I want to melt some more. I melted this in the bathroom. <laughs> when I first got this, it was a blushing rose. I got a hint of rose. I didn't get any lemon and I got a little bit of pineapple now and now I've had this now for what maybe three weeks and even when I warmed it but now I do pick up on the lemon the rose has gotten stronger and I could still smell the pineapple but it's more like a background character because the rose is really coming out so it, it, so it, this is a floral I guess is what I'm saying yes there's pineapple and lemon in here this is a floral I warmed this in the bathroom and although it was pretty and I remember when I warmed this I put it in in the morning and this is like in the half bath downstairs so I don't use that one all the time but I went in there and I opened the door and I was like oh it smells nice in here I go what a, what is this right it smells nice um and I'd forgotten what it was so I'd really think and like oh duh, it was this one pineapple rose because then I was getting picking up on the rose and so even though I described it as nice and I was like okay for the bathroom it was nice <laughs> it's not a smell that I would want wafting everywhere and smelling it all the time because of that rose scent uh, I think in the bathroom I'll use this up in the bathrooms um, but because I don't have to be in there all the time and smelling it but it's not for me I do think it's a pretty scent if you do like rose or florals you may like this um, whew, I, it's like there's certain scents that just go like straight up to my brain. Um, and that rose is piercing. So not for me, uh, frozen, the North calls and this one I have used, but I want to finish this one up. I've used this in my room and I really like this one. So this is in my club right now. This has, there's is there berries in here? What's in here? <laughs> yes, berries and grapefruit, lily of the valley, and a touch of marine. For me, that mix of berries and a little grapefruit, the grapefruit just adds the brightness. It's not, you know how grapefruit, I think some people could find to be tart or sour. It's to me, the berries, it's sweet. It's actually sweet. And the marine layer, or the marine layer, <laughs> the marine 
scent notes, whatever those are, it just softens it up. I love this scent and I really enjoyed it in my room. Um, moderate performer. I'm finding a lot of the license bars are on the lighter side, at least from my experience. I'd love to know, do, are there any, yeah, help me out here. Are there any license bars that you think are just like powerful, you know, or really, really good performers? A lot of them I'm finding to be on the lighter side. I'd love to know that. I'd love to know that. I cannot articulate today. I'm having, like I said, not enough sleep. Um, cinnamon buttercream. So cinnamon buttercream, I am almost done. I have three cubes left, so I just want to finish this off. Um, this is strong. So speaking of, you know, the opposite of light performer, this is very strong. I get the cinnamon and the buttercream uh, a lot. Um, I think I've used this to mix other things. I think Scary Good was one of um, certain certain ones that I didn't care for as much. Um, I think I mix this too with pumpkin roll, and pumpkin roll's not bad. Um, so I, I've used this as a mixer, but I have used this on its own. I have another bar, so I do want to just finish this one. Then we have Very Snowy Spruce. Yeah, I didn't get to warming this in December, but I think that's okay, because to me this is not a Christmassy tree scent. Yes, there's there's a little bit of it, but it's not like to me sweet orange and evergreen was like a really Christmas tree scent because that one reminded me of the Christmas tree lot where you have all the needles on the floor and you know the wreaths that they make with the little branches and so it's it just reminded me a lot of those evergreen um and pine pine trees. Um, this one has fresh forest air, balsam, spruce, cedar, amber, and pine cones. So to me, this is more of a, uh, I think that fresh mountain air reminds me of being outside kind of in the forest, um, like in a national park. Um, so this one to me is not so Christmas tree specific, at least in my mind. And I think we associate scents too with scent memories. This I mentioned reminds me being up in the mountains with the snowy, with the snow covering all the, the trees. So I, I do like this one a lot. I just haven't warmed it. Ooh, we're ending on a weird one because <laughs> I did sniff this, but I have not shared this at all. Uh, so I have not uh, shared this, I think, in a haul. This is Hufflepuff Justin Loyal. And I think this also went away December 31st. Um, I have a full bar. I think I hauled this in December. I think I threw it in when I was getting like candy corn, buttercream, and some other ones. Um, this has, if I remember correctly, because I, I, it has like vanilla, almond. I'm getting like a butterscotch or a toffee. I forget now the notes, but I, I do remember reading the notes and thinking, okay, those are all the notes that I like. I had also saw um, a couple reviewers, I'm not, I can't remember which ones, but that have had this and I've heard both. I've heard some people love it and have clubbed it. I've heard some people say, nope, this smells weird, not for me. Um, and so I, I, did, I didn't get it, but now as you know, the, the deadline for being able to get this bar was closing, I, I figured I'll throw it in there just to smell it because it's, it's got the notes that I think I would like, but I don't know. I mean, it's on cold, everything, everything can change on warm. I could be just it. And that's true. I've definitely had bars where I smelled it on cold and something smelled odd. It's not that this smells bad, but there's something strong in here and it's a little sharper, not terrible sharp, but it's just a weird mix of scents to me and not what I would have expected with like the notes that I read. So we'll see, we'll see. It's just, it's sweet. I don't know. I don't know. Do you like this one? <laughs> if you've, if you've uh, purchased Hufflepuff Justin Loyal, I'd love to know. Uh, are you on the like it camp? Um, you have it in your club or are you in the no? That was weird for me too. Well, that is what I am planning on warming in January as it come, you know, as far as since he's concerned, I will be dropping in um, vendor wax that I've received. Um, I will also be doing my January melting, uh, wax melting challenge and, uh, that is, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.